Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do something a wee bit different to usual. I'm going to do a pickup video. Um, I hadn't really planned on doing any of these, but um, I'm not sure if there's much entertainment value in it for you guys. But um, I've been really enjoying watching uh, the videos on YouTube of like the stuff you guys have picked up. So I don't know, maybe you guys want to see what I've got. Um, so yeah, I'll start. I've got quite a lot of stuff this month, so I'll pr pretty much have to run through it pretty quickly. But I'll start off with the hardware that I picked up. Um, first off, I bought a GameCube, black GameCube. Um, never had a GameCube before. Really wanted one. Um, got this for fourteen ninety nine pounds. Um, yeah, it came with came with the controller. Um, and all the, the leads and everything. I know you can get them cheaper online. I think there's a place that does them for £10 delivered. But I really wanted a black one and they had them in a uh, game station uh, near where I live so I thought I'll pick it up anyway. So I got that. Um, so that came with, came with the controller and stuff as well. Uh, for also for the GameCube I got Game Boy Player picked this up online for, I think it was £18 delivered. Um, it came with the, uh, you need to use the, the disc as well before you can play Game Boy games with this, but got that as well. Um, I'll do a, a proper hardware review on that quite soon. Um, and also picked up this kind of rare thing. It's a modem for the GameCube. Picked it up for maybe four quid. Again, I'll do a review on that. In. Um, I don't know if I can even get that in shot. <laughs> yeah, picked up for the GameCube because I really like um, percussion and rhythm based games. So I got the Donkey Konga pack. I came with the game. Uh, it was all mint condition, everything's in the box. That was, I uh, can't remember how much that was, off eBay for like 13 quid, I think it was. So that's pretty good. I've been playing that, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on those as well sometime in the future. And also, then I found online another um, deal for these. Uh, that came boxed and that was five quid delivered. So that's pretty good. So I've got two of them now. You need like two player or even like a, you can play as one player with two bongos, which is a lot of fun. Um, so moving on to the games that I picked up. Trying to run through these pretty quick because I've got a lot. Spent way too much this month. Um, first off, on the 360, I got Earth Defense Force 2007, 17, even. Um, this is a kind of a, a really, really trashy arcade style game. Gets really bad reviews, but it's actually one of these games that's so bad it's actually quite good. Um, it's quite, quite rare, actually. It goes for a lot on eBay. I actually already ordered the copy online for, I think it was about 5 quid. I'm just waiting for that to come in, but I saw this in the shop today. 8 quid, 7 99 um, So I'm going to sell this on eBay and I'll probably get a bit double, double that on eBay for it. So that'll kind of pay for the, the other copy that I've got coming. Um, next up, 360 again. Got Tomb Raider Underworld. It's a really, really good game. Um, I've already completed this, but I didn't actually own a copy of it. So I thought, 5 quid. Um, I'll go for that. I've got all the DLC to play through as well. I haven't done that yet. On the original Xbox, I picked up Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath. That was 350. And um, that's a really good game as well. Um, you can switch between playing in a third person view or um, first person. That came with all the, the bits. So. Yeah, but that's a good game as well. Next up, Silent Scope. Complete. Paid a bit more than I wanted to for this. I'm sure I'd seen it in the shop for 99p the other day. Went in today and it was 3.99. But I'd already ordered the gun for it online, so I need that anyway. Next up, Time Splitters 2, 99p. Saw this, had to have it. It's a really good game. Um, that came complete. The disc is in the console right now, but but yeah, the thing with that was all cracked and box isn't in great condition. So I bought this um, World Championship rub, rug, Rugby 50p. I only actually bought it for the box. I'm not going to even play that. 
not interested in rugby at all. Um, next up, BMX Triple X. Another really, really trashy game. Kind of like Tony Hawk, but with BMXs and half naked women. Can't really go wrong with that. For the GameCube, I got Metroid Prime. That's complete. 199. Um, played that. Don't really, really like the controls on it, I thought, because the GameCube had dual analog controllers so that it would um, use both of them, but it doesn't. Um, but yeah, whatever. 299, Wave Race, Blue Storm. This is a rubbish game. I tried this the other day. I thought it was going to be good, but it plays like crap. So, whatever, 299. Tony Hawk 3, Pro Skater 3, 99B. Really like the Tony Hawk 2 on the Dreamcast. So, playing this, um, it's alright. It's kind of let down by the GameCube controller. It's way too small for my hands. So, I mean, look at the, the D pad on it, it's tiny, so it's kind of difficult to do tricks on it. Moving on quickly here, I've got Donkey Konga. That came with the, the bongos I showed you earlier. I got this when I bought my GameCube, um, 99p. I just bought it because I wanted to try out the, the GameCube when I bought it at first and have any games with it. So, um, Next up, Game, po Game Boy Player disc there. It's in the GameCube right now, but you need that to play the, the Game Boy Player. And finally, got Tony Hawk's Underground. 99p. I played this on the Xbox, I think. I uh, didn't really like it, but 99p I thought it's complete and everything, so I'll give it a shot. Um, finishing up here, I've got kind of rushing through a bit, tons of stuff here, but um, yeah. For the N-Gage, I'm actually trying to collect all the N-Gage games at the moment. Um, I've almost got them all. Well, I say that it's probably about 20. I still need to get, but I uh, picked this up on eBay. I can't remember how much that was, like three quid or something. Um, it's complete. Comes with manual, cartridge, and the bits in there. I'm gonna do a video review on all the, well, the on the N-Gage and all the games I've got so far. I'll do that soon. Um, got this uh, Game Boy Advance game, just to try out the Game Boy player. Um, paid a wee bit more than I wanted to for this, but it was the only thing they had in the shop that was kind of cheap. So that's King Kong, that's the movie game. I played it on the Xbox, it was terrible, but it wasn't very much money. And finally, yep, yeah, that's all I've got. Um, picked this up for 99p, it's for the DS, it's um, Guitar Hero on Tour, it's like a Plectrum stylus is here. And this one's like shaped like a microphone, but 99p. I don't actually want a DS. I just thought it looked cool, but uh, 99p. So yeah, I thought I'd just pick it up. Might use it for my sat nav or something like that. But yeah, that's everything for today. Um, I might do one of these videos kind of every month. Um, as I'm not too sure how much you guys enjoy watching this kind of stuff, but um, yeah, I spent too much money this month and. Probably have to wait a few weeks before I get any any more games and stuff. Too much to play right now anyway, so yeah. Uh thanks for watching guys. Um I'll see you again soon.